Welcome back, America. I'm Hugh Hewitt, live in California. Thank you for joining me this morning. I am joined by Arizona's Governor Doug Ducey, America's best governor, longtime friend of mine. Good morning, Doug Ducey. How are you, Governor? Real good, Hugh. How are you? Good to hear your voice. I'm glad I am not you, because I honestly do not know what I would do with this number. I've read the letter that the RGA sent the president that you signed. I have read the press releases. The numbers are astonishing. Would you review the letter that you sent to President Biden, what you were asking for and why you were asking for it? Well, Hugh, this is beyond a border crisis. And of course, people know Arizona and Texas are border states. But 26 governors from across the country have signed on to this because it's really beyond just a border crisis. It's a it's a catastrophe. And it's it's things like including a national security crisis because we don't know who's coming across our southern border. It's a public safety crisis because all of our states are experiencing <clears throat> a rise in, in crime and drugs. It's a, it's a humanitarian crisis. You can see that just from the pictures. And then, of course, we're told we have this public health crisis, yet when inconvenient at the border, the Biden administration averts its gaze from what's actually happening there, and there's not testing or vaccination. So governors together, all Republicans, have stepped up and said to President Biden that you need to act on this. It's the responsibility of the federal government, and we've requested a meeting with him within the next two weeks. We want to go to Washington, D.C., and bring back the policies of the previous administration that were actually working at the border. Now, Governor Ducey, for the benefit of people, new affiliates that may not know you, you are like the most responsible guy ever when it comes to confronting a problem. After the school shootings, you convened experts, you brought in every stakeholder, you had a serious policy, got adopted, became a model. What are you doing in Arizona that might model for the rest of the country? You, you're not a shoot from the hip guy. You're a businessman. You've run a great state. You have huge approval. What do you do with this many people? Because I read in the press release, it's up 500% over last year. It's up 500 percent, and it's not so much the statistics, and we could just give people all kinds of data that would shock them. For Jen Psaki to say that we had a slight decrease when we're at a 20-year high of what's happening here at the border, and we know how long this has been an issue, is just misinformation. And, you know, you hear the Mexican president calling Joe Biden the migrant president. You hear the Guatemalan president saying that Joe Biden's messaging is confusing, and you wonder why the Haitian people have come here. It's because they think they're welcome, because of what's coming out of the White House is that they are anti-wall, and they're absent without leave on what's happening at the border. So what I have done, and Governor Abbott has done this as well, is we've deployed our own National Guard. Other Republican presidents have sent us additional law enforcement. But when you don't have California or New Mexico participating with you, when you don't have, don't have the, the faith and help of the federal government, when you've got ICE and CBP and border uh, agents so discouraged and underfunded, that's what you see. I mean, that, these pictures just spell Bidenville of people living under an underpass between Mexico and the United States, and it needs the, the action uh, and responsibility of the federal government to address it, and we need it with urgency. Now, you referenced Chen Psaki. For the benefit of the audience who were not listening last hour, I want to play the White House press secretary yesterday talking about whether or not things are under control at the border. Cut number seven. Where's the vice president on any of this? Isn't she supposed to be addressing the root causes of migration? Absolutely. And she has been addressing the root causes of migration by working with countries in the region to ensure they have the assistance they need to reduce the number of people who are coming uh, and trying to make those journeys across the border. We've actually seen some reductions in some of those numbers. That doesn't change the fact that this is a very challenging situation in Del Rio. We're working to implement our policies and we're working to uh, ensure we are also addressing root causes. First question, Governor, has the vice president called you recently about the Arizona border? I have not talked to the vice president. I've asked her to come to the Arizona border along with the Secretary of Homeland Security. And if the vice president is looking for the root causes of what's happening, she needs to look no further than the Oval Office. This is a change in policies from the Trump-Pence administration, things like Title 42, Remain in Mexico, the Migrant Protection Program, and then, of course, the, the physical barrier 
the actual wall that said to people, we are not welcoming illegal migration to this country. We have an immigration system. We encourage you to follow it legally. But if you remember, Hugh, during the debates, and I know you do remember, when when they, all the Democrats were asked, would they give people illegally crossing the border free health care? Every one of them, including Joe Biden and Kamala Harris, raised their hand, yes, free health care. We actually had Martha Raddatz come to the border. Uh, Kamala Harris didn't, but ABC News did. And she asked migrants that had crossed illegally, did they come because Joe Biden was president? They answered that, yes, they felt that they were welcomed here. And then she asked, would you have come if Donald Trump was president? And they said, not a chance. So, Governor Ducey, they have been in office, the president and the vice president, for eight months. How often has Vice President Harris, with authority delegated to her by the president to control the border, how many times has she called you? She's not called me once. What? She she was the worst possible choice to be the border czar. She's shown no level of seriousness on this issue throughout her entire career. And once she got the assignment, she tried to change the definition of what success would be. She dillied and dallied until she went to other countries to visit, and she still has not come to Arizona's border. I know she did a flyby in in Texas, but Governor Abbott wasn't invited to that. And this is really about convening the stakeholders, the ranchers, law enforcement, federal authorities, the National Guard, talking about how you can solve the problem, and then the policies that I picked off from Title 42 to Migrant Protection Protocols that actually worked, that actually disincented people from coming across. Right now, Q, we've got the drug cartels are shaping the policy on the border, taking advantage of hundreds of thousands of people with their life savings. And again, we can kick off the encounters that we know, the people that we've we've actually been able to apprehend. It's the people that we haven't apprehended that keep you up at night, that make you wonder where they are and who they are and what intention they have in this country. Governor Ducey, you've been governor for, this is your seventh year. So you were governor under President Obama. Was the border this lawless under President Obama? It was not even close. But President Obama, of course, did not have the same focus on the border as President Trump did. But he knew what a crisis was. And even Barack Obama deployed the National Guard to the border. Of course, Donald Trump did. Of course, George W. Bush did the same. But when Donald Trump deployed the National Guard to the border, even Jerry Brown put California's National Guard at the border. So this is a national issue. It's been dealt with by other president except Joe Joe Biden. So this is a solvable problem. The wall, the physical border is part of this. So much of it has been built. It just needs to be completed. It keeps people and drug cartels from, from spilling over. And it also sends a message that if you want to come here, go through the legal process. If you have asylum claims, please make them. But there's a way to do it that doesn't allow people to come over the border to, to actually gain the system and then to, to just fade into the country, never to be seen again. Governor Ducey, uh, in one of the releases that the RGA sent out and your office sent out, it reports that the Yuma Sector Border Patrol experienced a more than 900 percent increase in apprehensions compared to last year, Tucson a 200 percent increase, and to put a human face on it, a few weeks ago a mother and her 10-year-old daughter who crossed the border seeking asylum were found dead from heat exposure in the Yuma Desert. I cannot believe the president and the vice president are frozen and Secretary Mayorkas frozen. A press conference is not a policy. It's, it's heartbreaking, Hugh, because you do see these pictures. They tell a thousand words. And the fact that people think that our government is welcoming them, welcoming them to take that dangerous, if not deathly, journey across the Sonoran Desert at the height of summer with triple digit figures and no water along the way. And then when you see the sexual abuse statistics and the violence statistics of what people face on that journey from the drug cartels, it's doubly bad. And the administration's aware of it, but there's been a complete lack of action. It's like they're frozen, focusing on Afghanistan. And then in so many ways, Hugh, I think this mandate around 
scenes was a very cynical effort to just change the news story about the, the rupture at our southern border. It's a rupture. That's exactly what it is. Arizona Governor Doug Ducey, always great to talk to you, Governor. Good luck. This is a crisis. I hope the president agrees to meet with the governors at the White House. Thank you, Governor. I'll be right back, America. Stay tuned. I'm Hugh Hewitt. I'll be right back live from California this morning.